we are going to create a simple application in Python that is going to use CSV as the input file and going to create a pandas data frame and it's going to answer some questions whenever the user input a query. And we are going to do that using the OpenAI and the lang chain. All right, so let's get into the data. So this is a data I pulled from Kaggle and it contains the, it's a card sales data. Okay. And it includes information about different cards. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in the description below, the link to the data so you can grab it. All right, so let's get into the data, into the code. So we're gonna import the OS, we're gonna import the streamlet as ST, import pandas as PD, we're gonna need the from long. Tongue chain dot agents, you're gonna import the create pandas as data frame agent. Okay. And we're gonna import the OpenAI. We are gonna import the API key. So from API key import API key. Okay. So we are gonna set up the environment variable. And we're gonna send that to the API key. So this is my API key right here. It's already set up here. Okay. So I'm gonna call that here and I'm gonna create the Streamlit application. So I'm gonna define a function called app. So inside the function, I'm gonna create a title and the description. So I'm gonna say st.title, I'm gonna write the CSV query app and I'm gonna do the st.write. I'm gonna write, upload a CSV file and enter a query to get an answer. Okay, so I'm going to run that using the, uh, so inside the terminal, I'm going to run the app. So let's see the output. Okay. So I'm going to do, so you can run it, streamlet run. Let's say app file, hit enter. Okay. Okay, so this is the output, the initial output so far. Yep, so we say upload a CSV file and enter a query to get an answer. Okay, and this is exactly what we've done here. Okay, so let's move forward. So the next thing is to uh, create a file upload. So I'm gonna say file is equal to st, st the file uploader. I'm going to say load CSV file. Okay. I'm going to say type is equal to CSV. Okay. So, what we call to want to do a CSV file, it's just going to say specify the type of file. Okay. And if not file. I'm gonna say stop. If there's no file. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is to read it. So I'm gonna say the data is equal to ed dot read csv. I'm gonna put in the file. I'm gonna write something. Okay, I'm going to write something. So I'm going to say data preview. Okay. I'm going to say data. So I'm going to print a few lines to head. Data dot head. Print some few lines. I'm going to create language model agent. So I'm going to say create. Okay, so create pandas data frame agent. I'm going to put in the parameters. Let's open AI. I'm going to set the temperature to zero. 
So you can, depending on the use cases, you can change the, the temperature to. So if you do it like 0 0.9, it means that the, ram, the randomness is going to vary highly anytime you run the, the, the code, okay? So I'm going to set it to 0. And I'm going to say, I'm passing the data. Passing the data. I'm going to say Fairburs is true. This means that anytime it runs, the agent is going to break it down, the processes, and the way it is thinking. So it's going to give me each of the steps that is um, trying to solve the problem. So if you do it, it's equal, is equal to false. It means that it's not going to display any of these. It's just going to run it and give you the output. Yeah, so that you know, okay? And I'm going to say query. So I'm going to create a query input to go to st.txt. So I'm going to do the input here. It's an input. So enter query. Next thing to do is I'm going to execute the query. So I'm going to say if st button, we're going to execute, we're going to create a button that is going to execute the query. Okay. Answer equal to the agent I'm going to pass in the query okay so we're going to do the agents then we're going to run the query okay so it's going to give us the answer the next thing is to write answer We'll put that into trophy text form right answer okay i'm going to write get the answer right, so let's run it and see So we're going to do let run a file of pi. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we're going to browse and upload our file. And the file gives us the data breakdown, preview, showing us the columns that we have in the data. Okay, so by saying that the data.head is giving us the preview of the data, and they enter the query here, is where we enter the query. And we execute by using this code. Okay, so let's ask a question. I'm going to see what is the manufacturer with the highest. Is year sale value when I hit execute? Okay, so let's see what is going behind it. So, because we did a verb is equal to true, it's giving us the step, the thoughts is going through. So, it's giving us I should find the highest year resale value and get it manufacturer. 
and it's action input is giving us the pandas formulas there. Okay, so he's sorting the values year to value ascending is equal to false, giving us the head. Okay, and he's saying the highest resale value is the Porsche Cabrio. So the final answer, right? So that is so awesome. So, and it gives you the answer here. So you can just vary the questions and see how it's going to execute that. And you can also check the temperature and vary that to see how it works there. Yep, so this is a short tutorial. So you can just go ahead and play with it. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe.